The first AI secret to editing five times faster is using Filmora's text-based editing. Here in my timeline in Filmora, I have a video that I filmed for the TikTok shop, one I'm actually gonna post on my TikTok. I'm gonna fully edit it in Filmora right now. The first thing that sucks your time out when you're editing is the first pass, removing all the mistakes and all the ums and ahs and all the spaces. And you can do that very easily with Filmora's text-based editing. If I just click on a clip I want to do that with, I select this icon right here, which should show me a little preview, AI text-based editing. And use AI to do this, and it's pretty great. So I just click on it, and then I choose the language, and then it starts generating this video in text form so I can just delete the text and the spaces that I don't want, and it'll automatically edit it for me. So it's a huge time saver. And bam, in a couple seconds, here's the whole clip in text, and these dots are spaces, and here's all the words, and I can see that I repeated myself, but what if it's pitch black, but what if it's pitch black? So I don't need to delete all of that, including the space, so I just highlight it and hit delete, and I can say, ah, delete all the silent clips as well, so it's gonna do all of that for me, and look what it did, it sucked it down, and I can just say export to timeline, and that long clip is now half the size, it actually gives me the text above it if I wanna see it, which is right there. I'm not gonna use that, but now I can see that this is all correct and accurate. Like, listen to a little bit here. It's pitch black, like right over here. Got a surprise for him called infrared. And bam, it did all of that for me in just a couple seconds. So what would have taken me 10 minutes to edit down, now will take me just a minute or two. The next AI secret feature is Filmora's motion tracking, which is out of this world good. Let's say I want to have a little icon tracked by my head next to me, moving with my head. When I worked in Hollywood, we would send a video to the graphics department to do it, and they would use After Effects or some programs that were specifically designed for motion tracking. And I've tried motion tracking in other programs recently, and this is the best I have seen. To use Filmora's AI motion tracking, it's just a couple clicks. You position the playhead at the beginning of the clip you want to motion track by hitting the up arrow, then I select the clip, and then I click this icon right here. We've got motion tracking and planar, or planar, I'm not sure how to say it, tracking, which is really cool. I'll show you that in another video. We just select this guy right here, motion tracking, and this box pops up, and we want to position this box over the object we want to track. Now, the object needs to be visible the entire time, and we adjust this rectangle so that as my head moves, it won't lose track of my eyeball, and we hit click to start motion tracking. And very quickly, look how good that is sticking. That stuck really well. Now, we just need an object for it to motion track. Now, you can add another photo, video, text, whatever, or you could jump up here into Filmora's stickers. And in this box right here, we type what we're looking for. How about video? And it's gonna show me some cool video options. Let's choose maybe a cool looking camera. How about, I don't know, this guy right here. I'm just going to hit plus to add it to the timeline. And I'm gonna stretch it out to make it last the duration of this clip. To make this camera track with my eye, we simply click on this clip again. We jump over to motion tracking and we choose link element. And that thing's called photo icon element. So I just find the one that says, oh, photo icon element zero. And I position this where I want it to be. When it tracks, like I want it to be like right around there, maybe make it a little bit smaller. And let's see if it works. See if this moves with my eye. Really pretty fun. They can record video in 4K. They can take 36 megapixel photograph. That's really, really good. Just use your imagination and think of all the things you can do with Filmora's AI motion tracking. The third AI feature that's gonna to totally level up your videos and make your editing workflow much faster is Filmora's AI voice enhancer. I filmed this on my iPhone and it sounds fine, but it could sound better. Let's let's listen to a, a second or two right here without the voice enhancer. Do not use these 4K night vision goggles to spy on people. Now that sounds fine, but it could sound even better, like it was recorded in a studio. So I'm just going to select all of this audio. I'm gonna jump over to audio and I'm gonna choose AI voice enhancer. And it's got a couple options: voice beautification. Like, my voice needs beautifying. Come on. And voice clarity. And just default, it sounds like this. Do not use these 4K night vision goggles to spy on people. That sounds like recorded in a studio. I'm just going to play them back to back before and after so you can hear the difference. So I'm going to turn that off. And here it is before. Do not use these 4K night vision goggles 
do not use these 4K night vision goggles. That sounds really good. Now, the audio was clean to start and it made it even better. But imagine if you had cruddy audio or you're in an echoey room or you've got a bunch of noise and wind and stuff. This can clean up that and it does a really nice job of it. I know I said it was going to give you five AI secrets, but here's a bonus one that can save you a lot of time. And that is Filmora's AI sound effects. Filmora will generate sound effects out of thin air instead of having to search through them and find them and pay for them. Just built into Filmora AI sound effects. So let's say right here when I'm zooming in on these 4K night vision goggles, right? So what if we had a, a zoom in like night vision goggle sound effect? To do that, you go under audio, you select AI sound effects and you type in what you want. So let's say, how about military grade night vision goggles zooming in. Now, before we hit generate, we've got some settings. We can choose how long we want it to be. I think it only needs to be like four seconds. I'll make it like four seconds. And we can choose how many options we want. So let's try, I don't know, let's try five options. And then you just hit generate and it's going to make five sound effects for you to choose from out of thin air, royalty free, copyright free, whatever. And bam, here they are. Let's let's have a listen. And bam, after a few seconds, we have five options to choose from. Let's see which one sounds the best. <laughs> sounds like some Star Wars. I think I like the second one the best. So to add it to the timeline, I just hit this download. So it actually downloads and hit the plus sign. And then I want to line it up a little bit. So as soon as I start zooming in, it starts zooming. So the zoomage starts right there. So I'll just move this guy over and I'm going to zoom in on the timeline a little bit. I'm holding the command key down, use my scroll wheel to zoom in a little bit so I can see what's going on and put it like right there and see how we like it. So you can get right in there. And then I'll just end it right there. So bam, we've got a military grade night vision goggles right right here in the video. So you can get right in there. Bam, I, I like it. The fourth AI secret that will save you a ton of time is Filmora's AI speech to text, and it is really good. It is the most accurate of what I've seen so far, and I've tried it on a bunch of other programs. So if we just jump over here to titles, we select AI captions and we choose speech to text. I click transcribe. I choose the language of the audio that I'm speaking. I'm not going to translate it in this example. And I'm going to choose to translate the entire timeline sequence. And I'm going to add automatic active words. And I think that's going to make them pop a little bit. And this is going to generate titles for us. I just click generate and I wait a second and it scans it and it uh, makes these out of, out of thin air. Well, I mean, a big A server on, on their side is, is doing all the work right now while, while I'm talking to you. And kaplowy, dude, in mere seconds, we have all of these titles transcribed pretty freaking accurately. Now, it's making words pop. It's doing things down there. But this is so small, it's like, you know, it's, it's unusable like that. But they make that super easy to fix. To make these tiny words more usable and have them pop on the screen, you just select all of these captions that it just generated. And bam, you have all these templates to try. Let's try, I don't know, how about that guy right there? Do not use these 4K night vision goggles to spy on people. What? So with just a couple clicks, we have these beautiful, highly engaging, easy to read AI captions that uh, are gonna make your videos get watched. And you should probably know that something like 80% of short form content, whether it be Instagram, YouTube shorts, or TikTok videos are watched with these sound offs. So you really wanna be adding captions to everything. The fifth AI secret showcases one of Filmora's AI tools for global reach. Maybe your entire audience doesn't speak English. You want to show yourself speaking another language? You can do that. This is it's pretty trippy that I can do this. So let's say I wanted me to speak Spanish and you want to see my lips move as I speak Spanish. So I just right click on this clip and I choose AI translation. This pops up. I want to translate the voice and the caption. I want to go from English into, let's say Spanish, and I want to lip sync it. This is in beta. It's not bad now. It's going to get better. So I click this guy and I choose translate. Pretty sure it's uploading it to the server right now, making me speak better Spanish than si yo estuviese haciéndolo por mí mismo. I know it says 16 minutes here. That's that's wrong. It's, it's way, way faster than that. I think that took a little over a minute, but let's let's see what it does. Now it's made captions here, which we could tweak out like the other ones. We're just going to delete those because I just want to see how it did with me speaking. And position at the beginning, and let's listen. Recuerda, con gran poder viene gran responsabilidad. Not bad, right? To see the entire video that I edited completely with Filmora using a bunch of Filmora's AI features, you can just go to my TikTok shop 
at Trebs Trends right there. To try Feel More out for free, you want to click right here. And to see how to create cinematic videos with your smartphone, watch this video right here.